Hello, and welcome to the Music Hall Minute, a weekly update of what's happening at the Hall during our closure. My name is Monty Bohannon. I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications here at the Hall. On behalf of everyone here, I hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. I know I did. I uh, spent a lot of time out in that garden. Happy to report it's coming together. Yeah, it looks pretty good. This week's update is sponsored by Street, our newest hilarity series sponsor. The food you travel the world for is just down the street. Curbside pickup, delivery, and patio seating now available. Come to think of it, I, I, th I think I need a bimbap. Yeah, maybe I'll go get one after this. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good plan. All right, anyway, highlights this week. We get our backstage tour part three, the green room. Um, and I think we'll go, well, I, well, why break form? We'll go to that right now. Kristen? After all the running around these last couple of weeks, I thought it might be nice to sit down and take a look at the green room. I know we breezed through here a couple weeks ago on our way uh, to the fly floor, um, but I just wanted to take a moment and, and reflect on what this space means. This is the place where artists come to feel comfortable and safe and relaxed before they step out onto the stage. Generally, this is the place where they are immediately before you see them. This also generally doubles as a wig room um, for our big holiday productions or, or any number of things. So it's a really flexible space. And sometimes it's even office space for our production staff. It's a pretty comfy couch. And, you know, we hear a lot about uh, those sort of demanding artists you know, the ones, I said shaved Parmesan, this is grated. Where's my iced matcha latte? We don't get a lot of those. Generally, artists are really cool and they are really, really excited to step into this theater. They come in, they're wowed by the beauty of the music hall and that our community has been able to save, sustain, restore, and renovate this space where a lot of these theaters disappeared and were never seen again. There's a great documentary by uh, Dreek Overton called Four Theaters. Check it out. It's about the four theaters that were downtown. What are we doing back here? Well, I showed you the new stairs, the HVAC that wasn't there. Uh, and we're also uh, going to renovate this space. It, it, needs, it needs a little love and attention. It was um, you know, lovingly built by volunteers back in the 80s and, and needs, a new, uh, need, needs to be more flexible. So um, how are we doing that while we're closed? Well, we raised a lot of that money prior to this current crisis, um, and it's earmarked specifically for this project, so we couldn't spend it anymore else. Um, and it is addressing some immediate needs. Uh, I'll show you the steel beam that we put in. Uh, you saw the, the stairs. Um, that HVAC system, I think, was maybe put in in the Carter administration. I'm not sure. But it's definitely didn't owe us any favors. There have been some amazing artists who've come through this room. Tony Bennett, Trey Anastasio, Dinah Crawl, and some not so famous. But seriously, the staff is hanging together and working remotely. So many Zoom calls. We're taking care of the theater. We're taking care of ourselves and our families, making sure that we're ready to open when it's safe to do so. With that, I hope to see you soon. Many of our July shows are being rescheduled. The box office is contacting ticket buyers. Uh, Natalie McMaster and Donald Leahy shows are now scheduled for February 28th, 2021. Um, we're booking new shows, Postmodern Jukebox, uh, Justin McKinney, Masters of Illusion, and New Year's Eve with the Portsmouth Symphony, our resident orchestra. So definitely check those out. Some of you have let me know that you really like the tidbits of history and backstage tours that I've been doing. If you're looking for the definitive history of the Music Hall, though, look no further than our award-winning history book, Music Hall, by J. Dennis Robinson. Available through us online at our website and at your local bookstore. Check it out! It's great. 
May Membership Month ends in just a few days. There's still discounts on white Christmas tickets, which are selling, so if you want the best seats, get them now. Um, and I want to express my deep gratitude for your continued support, uh, whether you became a member, donated to our COVID-19 emergency fund, um, or re-upped your membership, or, or um, just bought tickets. It's where we are so thankful. We are optimistic for the future, but we realize that we might not be able to gather together for a while. So your continued support really means a lot to us. So again, thank you. And thanks again to today's sponsor, Street. We miss you. We look forward to seeing you, hopefully soon. Until then, stay safe, stay creative, keep looking out for one another, and together we'll get through this. Bye for now. Do 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 I forgot to grab a history book. I forgot to grab a history book. Meow 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 meow. I'm gonna go grab a history book.